Hi there, this is Maria, and I'm here with my guest screener. Mark DeHannes from InfoLine Rovers. Yep, and today we're going to talk about the InfoLine Wikimart. So if you've not ever visit the Wikimart, uh, you just go to the Learner Web dashboard and scroll down to the bottom, halfway down to the bottom, in the when, when you get the call, click on the link to InfoLine Wikimart. And that opens up the InfoLine Wikimart that is actually maintained by our InfoLine rowers. Yeah, they did done a great job um, keeping a lot of information here on the Wikimart. But since we're all talking about e-readers, I'm going to show you down at the very bottom of the page. There's an entire section dedicated to e-readers. Mark, I, I know you don't have a hand in this. I know was it Dan Sponseller who yes. does a lot of the work with this, but. Um, I'm really impressed by the information that's here. And if you look down at the bottom in the e-reader information, there's device sheets, right, for the Nook, iPad, Kobo, Sony, um, Literati, Kindle. Mark, what's the most common device that you get uh, calls on an info line? We get a lot of questions on the uh, Barnes & Noble Nook, and also the um, Kobo Reader seems to be very popular too. Okay, okay. So with the Barnes & Noble Nook then, if we get that call, it's usually the color, right? That's correct, yes. Okay. I'm um, in the device uh, sheet right here, and InfoLine has a lot of information about that particular device. For the Nook, for example, it uh, tells you what format it supports. And also there's this uh, this sheet, right, Mark? Yes, the, um, one of the great links we, we use is the download ebook link. And it gives them step-by-step -step instructions on how to transfer uh, the digital book uh, to the actual device. Okay, this is a really nice sheet, and you've been able to send this directly to customers, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, we have uh, several times, uh, either by uh, via um, email or e even fax. Yeah, and also this uh, same sheet is CRND approved, right? And it's on the e-reader page. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. So that's the information on the Nook. And if you take a look, you're going to find information for the other devices too. Mark said that the Kobo is another really popular device um, here. So you get very similar information on the device. When you have a question and you can't answer that, check in the device area. And one thing that I also noticed, um, there's information about the Adobe Digital Editions, Apple iTunes, Overdrive Media Console, and um, I want to show you a sample of the Adobe Digital Editions uh, page here. And Mark, um, you don't use this page very much, but you tend to refer to the other sheet, is that right? Uh, yes, uh, that's right. Okay. But I, I think that this is great for first-time users. You know, if you have a customer who's um, confused about what I need and about the how do I create an Adobe ID, right, because that's very important. Yeah, the, the uh, Adobe Digital Editions is an um, important step or for people to install in order to properly uh, see their digital book. And it's a uh, step-by-step instructions on how to do that here. Mm -hmm. yes, so that's, that's well detailed. Yeah, that's, that's very nice. So outside of that, there's also FAQs, a lot of FAQs here. The one thing that I noticed that they've broken down the FAQs into different categories, right? FAQ, general FAQ, collection, device, and software. So depending on what you're looking for, let's take a look at this FAQ here. Uh, Mark, how often do you send um, problems to the help desk? Are there situations where you send problems to the help desk? And when do you decide, you know, when do you send something to the help desk? When do you contact OverDrive? And when do you tell the customer to go to the device? Well, it seems like um, with so much information that we have on this, uh, our, our Wikimart, and we also have other pieces of paper um, throughout InfoLine that uh, we can help our customers with it, it's actually kind of rare at least in my experience, to actually have to send the customer yeah. to the help desk. That's nice. That's good to hear, actually, because there's lots of information here, and we can triage and you know let you set style, mm -hmm. and you typically can help the customer at the point of contact, which is really good customer service, right? Right. Yeah. Well, with proper styling, we could find out exactly what the mm -hmm. what problems the customer is having. A lot mm -hmm. of times, uh, we get questions about, oh, I'm having a problem transferring the ebook from a computer to the actual device. Yeah. And then we find out that um, one major step that they're missing is not hooking up the USB cable uh, to their computer yeah. from their device. So, so Those are all easy it, things to, to fix. Well, thanks a lot, Mark. We're running out of time here. We've got five minutes. Uh, great job, InfoLine. Thank you so much for this great resource.